Monique, you can see. You can see. You can see. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so if you have not already looked at this title, then you know what this video is about to be about. I'm so excited. So, yes, if you're at the title, then you know I am getting LASIK. Um, this video won't be too long. It'll probably be no more than like maybe 10, 15 minutes max. Um, it's just a small vlog. I just wanted to share this this journey with you all in this process. So yes, as you read, I am getting LASIK. I am like so excited. At the age of 25, in mid 20s, I am literally getting another goal off of my checklist before 30s. I'm so happy. So yes, um, for those who don't know what LASIK is, it is a um, eye procedure where basically a laser is being shot into your eyes to make you see. Okay, please don't say literal, but yes, it is a laser that is going to be um, put into your eye and it basically kind of like corrects your vision by like cutting off something like that into your cornea. But anyways, yeah. So I basically um, went to get my free consultation last week um, and they said I was a good candidate. Now, you do have to go through certain processes to make sure you're a good candidate for LASIK because there are some times where you may not be a good candidate due to certain eye problems or due to your eye health. But yeah, for those who don't know, I'm, I'm thick, sweetie. Like this right here, my glasses, thick. Now, mind you, this is only because I got them like shaved down completely like to the lightest that they could be with these glasses y'all like seriously but um for those who want to know my vision is like a negative eight like a negative eight or eight eight point two five negative eight point two five yeah i am nearsighted um my vision is terrible but yeah so um i really want to go ahead and just kind of go over all of the procedure um how would i say procedure now, all the payment and how much it all costs like i'll go ahead and i'll break this down probably later on in the video um but i am going to lasik plus it's um over in cobb and kind of like cobb if you don't know cobb like cobb county is in, like near atlanta georgia but yes i'm going there so i'm about to go ahead and get myself together i just got done cleaning my place it's like what 10 17 p.m I just got done cleaning my place and everything because my cousin is coming in the town and I kind of want everything to be clean, especially because they told me I have to rest after the procedure. But so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, go to sleep and I will wake up when I'm getting ready with you all. And we're going to be on our way to getting my eye procedure. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. I'm, I'm like super excited. So, yeah, I'll see y'all back. And make sure, one more thing, make sure y'all like you comment and you subscribe. Be back. Yeah. All right, good morning, you guys. I'm running late. But no, I'll be there like 8.13. I had to plop my wig on, y'all. I was rushing, but it still look good, though. We look good. I'm like a, a school teacher, y'all. But this is the last time wearing these thick glasses for everybody who tried to clown me about my thick glasses. It's the last time we seen them. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm about to get my procedure now. I am excited. I am not nervous. I don't know if people keep thinking I'm nervous, but I'm excited. All right, the doctor's gonna come in, just do one more last check on my eyes to make sure everything's good. And we're gonna be 2020 next time you see me. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm so excited. All right, I'll be back. Y'all, your girl survived the LASIK. Oh my God. I can see a little bit, but my eyes are hazy right now because I just got done with the procedure. So, um, oh my God, I'm gonna tell y'all how it went. I'm waiting on my ride now. Y'all, I'm very dramatic. I'm so dramatic, but I'm just so happy it's done, it's over with. Um, I'm great, I feel great. Thank y'all. Um, I mean, thank them, but yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get home. I have to sleep for four hours, so I will come back after that. 
Oh my god, you guys. I am alive and well. <laughs> Don't be trying to clown me. I know I, know I look like I belong in the Matrix. Okay, so um, let me take these glasses off. So for, uh, oh my god, my eyes, they're so sensitive. Okay, so it is, I got my done my surgery around like 11.30ish a.m., I think. Around like 11.30ish, 11.40ish a.m., I believe. Um, I got there at like 8.15, and they done the procedure around like 11, maybe? 11 a.m.? But yeah, anyways. Um, so... I had to go to sleep for they said at least like four hours it's like 409 now i got home at like 12 ish so like yeah i got home around like 12 ish so I'm, I'm good though but um overall it was super fast super quick super easy you guys and you know me i was a little dramatic I ain't gonna hold y'all kept telling the doctor i was like yeah i can feel i can feel my eye i feel you touching my eye like i was like i better not feel this laser or whatever but um <laughs> other than that um i didn't feel anything it was my it was absolutely painless very quick simple short and straight to the point literally like i was in there less than 10 minutes when they were actually poop poop you know in my eye like you know poop, poop, poop. like you know it was real quick um, but my eyes are still like swollen. I don't know if y'all can kind of see like I'm trying to look right here so I can see like my eyes don't mind my eyes right? but they're like kind of swollen right now. That's normal. Um, it's going down but I can still see like like especially like right here. Like right here. Like I don't know if y'all can see it but my eyes are swollen still but excuse my French but a bitch can see. A bitch can see. So, oh my God, y'all! I don't think y'all understand like how happy I am that I've had this procedure done. Like, I literally woke up from my nap, opened my eyes. I was like, "Oh shit, I can see. I can finally see. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Ooh, it's gonna be bright." <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so um, I have to wear, I'm wearing these glasses. I have to wear them like whenever I'm going to sleep um, for the next about three days. But at, technically, I'm supposed to be wearing these little things, but they sound supposed to wear these right here. But who the fuck? I'm supposed to like take, hold on. They sound supposed to take these on my eye, you know, to... When I go to bed and stuff, but who the hell got time to be walking around with these around their eye? Taped on their eye. Hold on, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, who got time for this? Nah. Nah. So I said, I'm just wear the glasses. It's going down. It's going down and nah, nah, nah. But anyways, yeah, I don't know. Who, who got time to be wearing that on my eyes? I'm, I really don't want to be walking around with that tape on my eyes. So I said, I'm just going to go to sleep with the glasses. It's easier for me to just take on and off. But yeah. I don't have any pain or anything. I did take me a hydrocortisone though because I was trying to go to sleep and I didn't want to wake up. Um, you know, from like a 45 minute nap, I was perfectly going for like, you know, typical that four hour time frame, which I did. But um, yeah, my eyes are fine. I did put some drops in them. They do give you drops that you have to keep consistently putting into, put into your eye. But I will go ahead, when I come back, you'll probably see me go to my appointment so that you all can, you know, um, see how they kind of look in the morning or, or when I get ready to go to my appointment because they are kind of like They are like swollen a little bit, but it's going down, but they're definitely swollen. But yeah, so I'll be back Guys, I am back with the new cuts new color new wig Let me give, let me give her a new style A new hair A new cut A new color New uh, 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 eyes you see me okay <clears throat> so yes you guys it has been a full week since my lasik eye surgery um i am like so happy i still like i'm trying to adjust to the fact that i can wake up and i can see i can i can see <laughs> i can see you guys okay so as i promised i was gonna go ahead and go over 
like the procedure and um, my, the pricing and everything that like you have to know beforehand and you know afterhand as well like with aftercare and everything so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get into it I'm not gonna make this long okay so first <clears throat> oh <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, so first things first, I would like to go over the process because I'm pretty sure that's probably more interesting than the um, cost, I should say. So for me, um, you go in for a consultation, as I said in the previous clips, and then they can schedule you for the day that you're available for the surgery. After that, um, is my camera focused? Okay, there we go. But anyways, yeah, so after that, the day of surgery, um, you're asked if you wear contacts to not wear your contacts for at least two days prior before surgery so you can just avoid any complications to happen. So once you go in for surgery, um, your eyes are going to be diluted with like a numbing eye drop so that you don't feel anything during the procedure. It's The numbing takes effect pretty quickly. You don't feel absolutely anything. So right before the surgery um there is going to be two machines that you would go to so the first part is the machine that they use where they put the clamps in your eye now the clamps are not big you guys i know it sounds so scary the way i'm describing it but they're not big they're like really small you don't even, don't even really feel them so they put the clamps in your eyes they put more numbing drops just in case just to make sure and then the first machine is actually opening up like your cornea. I know it sounds like so crazy when I say this, like, yeah, they like open up the cornea, like this cornea part, like they open it. They open it to, you know, be able to get, guess, get in there and work their magic. So after that, that was really quick. Took about like 10, 15 seconds per eye. After that, you're then sent over to another machine this machine is the actual machine, which is the laser that corrects your actual vision. So you sit under it, you put a little few more drops, they have to make sure everything is like, he did, I don't know what this doctor did. Uh, I, I'm gonna try to see if I can find like some LASIK eye tutorial so you kind of see what the doctor does. But he, what he does is like, he uses this tool and he's like, you like you're still blind mind you this is before the laser the second on the second machine before the laser hits your eye like you're still blind and he's just like swirling this little tool in your eye like it's crazy you guys i know it sounds like it you, you know icky if you're even not someone who's really fond of stuff like that but it's not bad it's like really quickly he does it first eye doom you see the la the laser is like doo -doo 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 -doo, like it's doing all this job like all you see is like lights that's all you see like red green and like blue lights that's all i saw the entire time Literally, next thing I know, after the laser like did his job, you're like, oh, I can see. <laughs> like you see one eye, like I don't know if you wear contacts, then you know that what I'm talking about. Like you see one eye is just like, oh my god, I can see out of this eye. Like is this real? Then he moves on to the next one. As I said, about 10, 15 seconds per eye. Um, it was really quick. The only thing I disliked about when I was getting the LASIK is that when you go to the actual laser machine that corrects your eye, you can legit smell like your eye burning. Like, it's this. I know that sounds crazy. I'm not trying to scare y'all, but I promise you, it's so quick. It's like you smell the eye. Like, it's yeah, if you smell like burning skin or something like that, then you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, yeah. You don't feel nothing. It's absolutely painless. None of that. Um, but other than that, um, after that, of course, you're taken and you're told about the aftercare, the importance of what to do next, and, you know, what to expect. Um, the aftercare was very, very important. You know, they give you these about three to four months supply of artificial tears so that, you know, you make sure your eye stays pretty hydrated because the laser can dry your eye out over time. So they, so that's very important to just keep using that, all those eye drops about four to eight times throughout the day or just whenever your eyes feel like they're irritated. And then they give you these antibacterial eye drops as well. So the antibacterial eye drops are what you're gonna use for about a full week of your surgery. That's just to make sure nothing gets in your eye, like such as bacteria, and that is like, you know, formulating any type of anything in your eyes because you don't want, you know, your eyes to have a bad reaction or anything like that. So that's really important. Now, after the week, you can throw them out. You don't need them anymore. 
Um, during that entire time, I would say the only thing I disliked about the aftercare of my surgery was that I could not wear no makeup. For an entire week, I could not wear makeup, no water could go on my eye, nothing. Like, you could not put nothing near your eyes at all for that entire week. They literally stressed that so much to um every single person like don't put anything in your eye because i guess they may be seen it multiple times where something happens that's bad so they just say you don't put anything near your eye for the entire week but my recovery was pretty quick fast painless i know some people have complained about in the past they've had pain but i was fine after your surgery you know they give you your instructions your aftercare everything you're supposed to do they tell you go home sleep for four hours when you wake up in four hours, you're going to see. And that's exactly what happened with me. Woke up four hours later, ah, I could see you guys. Like, I kid you not. I'm still, like, in such a stunned moment of knowing when I wake up and I open my eyes, I can see that I'm still used to, like, grabbing my glasses on the dresser. And I'm like, I'm just so used to it, thinking, like, oh, when I'm still going about to go to sleep and I still got contacts, and, oh, let me go take them out. Like, I keep forgetting, like, oh, no, Neek, you can see. You can see, bitch. You can see, bitch. <laughs> But yeah, so that was uh, as far as the procedure, um, how everything went with, with that and so on. So now, on to the next part. The cost. The money, the money, 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 money. Ooh. You guys. The cost. Alright, so I went to LASIK Plus. When I went to LASIK Plus, they were having a deal where you basically got a thousand dollars off of your eye surgery so that was something that i took advantage of now there are like multiple ways for you to be able to like pay for your eye surgery you know you can use um depending upon whom you go to just ask them what their options are i know a lot of like people um providers use like care credit and so care credit was something that an option that i used you know so I wouldn't have to have to make a huge payment like right away. So it's up to you and they do have a tour. You can just pay it off in 12 months with no interest or if you wanted more time, there of course comes interest. So for me, I, work, I use care credit and it worked out in favor for me. I definitely recommend if you're someone that is responsible and you're someone that wants the surgery but you know you can't pay it all in full at once but you're able to afford to make monthly payments please don't make a rational decision please actually think about it you know because this is your credit you want to make sure that that is you know important and that you know what you're doing but yeah so overall my surgery costs about 3600 that's about the amount it's a little bit under the 600 it's in the fives but around 3600 3, all in total so that was for both my eyes and that was just for the what they call a wave light optimized lifetime advantage intra laser blade lift all, all laser LASIK. So this was what I got. And what it is is that I also have a lifetime advantage, which allows me to be able to come back and get you know my touch touch ups and everything like that and so i also do go back in three months for a post op so they can check on my eyes and see how they're doing for no charge um but yes for me they said it was great that i was getting it since i'm young and by the time i reach my 40s i may only need like one more touch up but for the most part i'm fine they said that it's good to get it while you're young because your eyes have more time to be able to fully heal and, and to cope into that vision that you'll have for the rest of your life so yeah um, there are multiple other options that they stated. Uh, the one that I knew was like the more like popular one was care credit. They, um, it's best that if you do want to use like credit or you're applying through any type of credit provider that you actually apply through the company that you're getting your LASIK through because you have better chances at getting approved and also getting a kind of right away I guess you could say response and and you also possibly able to get a higher amount so I actually just applied through mine through um the company itself and it got back like right away so yeah definitely put my doctor's information he was very helpful he is very advanced in his field he's done multiple LASIK surgeries he's done like over 1800 100 180,000 LASIK surgeries so like he's pretty advanced he's pretty knowledgeable of his job and what he's doing um 
other than that you guys that's it that's the lasik i personally if it were me i would rec i mean if i were you if i were you i would recommend lasik you cannot go wrong with it. it is truly a hefty investment but it's an investment worth in the long run that's probably the amount of money you probably would have paid not even in your 50s over contacts glasses and all that like it was just it was truly a great option i'm so thankful to have had that happen for me and i personally recommend that for anyone if you are someone who you know it's it's not the best in the vision field to go ahead and get that lasik so it didn't get that lasik please get it you're gonna not regret it at all at all but yeah you guys i mean other than that kind of that was it i hope you all enjoyed this video it was real short straight to the point simple and sweet and you know i can't wait to see <laughs> y'all later <laughs> all right bye you guys and make sure y'all like comment and subscribe i need to see the likes and the comments and the subscriptions thank you subscribers